What's going on guys, Jared here with Onyx. I wanna to talk to you a little bit about uh, our new fully integrated 3D on web map as it pertains to the Whitetail Woods. And intimately knowing the terrain by utilizing our 3D on web map will help you better understand how and why deer are moving the way they are on a particular piece of property. So diving into the map here, what I'm always looking for, um, especially during a rut hunt as such as this, I'll be there from October 30th through November 6th. And what I'm really looking for in my experience is long drawn out ridge systems and vegetation created pinch points. So diving into ridges first, currently, uh, as you can see here, this ridge top in particular is incredibly long drawn out and flat. And these will tend to funnel a bunch of buck movement while cruising from doe bedding area to doe bedding area. The ends of these ridges, as they begin to drop off into the bottoms, will often harbor uh, doe bedding areas. Family groups of does will you know, habitually bed in these locations. And bucks will use the wind to most efficiently run these ridges in search of a hot doe. In the process, these flat ridge tops often are absolutely covered up in scrape activity if they're heavily used, which can be easily verified with a quick scout as you look for your first setup with boots on the ground. Lastly, in my experience, the larger the ridge system, the better success I've found in the past. For instance, as you can see this ridge, it splits down into two finger ridges, and this just creates more bedding opportunity and a larger area for these bucks to cruise for a hot doe. Whereas if you look at this ridge system on the valley across or across the valley, it only has a singular ridge that drops down. And so I'm more keen to set up on this ridge or this ridge before I would check out these singular finger ridges, um, just because I'm hedging my bets for the spots that are most likely to have cruising bucks. Next, as it pertains to vegetation pinch points, I'm going to pan the map by simply holding control and left clicking on my mouse pad in order to pan the map in 3D. And then you can use two fingers to pull in or zoom out just as you would if you were scrolling up and down a page. And so as I zoom in here, you can see that this creek bottom in the bottom on this piece of property has a very significant tree line running right up the gut. And even on a 2D map, you can start to see this, but what 3D will do is it will bring to life the terrain surrounding these vegetation pinch points, which just gives you more intel on how it's going to funnel deer. So in this particular spot, the creek bottom, depending on how much water it holds down here, will really create a restrictive edge that deer will be forced to travel until they find a solid crossing point. And then on the timbered ridges, both on the east and west of this creek, those pinch down. And if you use our line distance tool, there's only about 125 yards of distance across the entire valley. And so what that tells me is that from that creek bottom, it's nearly shootable with archery equipment to both edges of the tree lines. And so that leads me to believe that this is going to be a very restrictive funnel caused by both the terrain and the vegetation, give it the tree lines, the creek bottom, as well as I don't know how much water is going to be there that's going to force deer movement in a particularly tight zone. So that's what I'm looking for when I use 3D. I'd really be honing in on these ridge tops and this creek bottom to look for funneled deer movement and hopefully catch a mature buck finding hot does.